a huge setback for the Aam Aadmi Party just ahead of elections which are going to take place in the national capital uh, early next year. Kailash Gehlot. The transport, the housing, as well as the woman and child welfare minister resigns. In a detailed letter accessed by us, which he has written to Arvind Kejriwal, he moans the fact that the journey which was begun by Aam Aadmi Party and the Delhi government from one point has somehow lost its momentum as it heads towards yet another election. And interestingly, he raises two big concerns and both of them which are likely to hurt and hit the Aam Aadmi Party very, very strongly. One, he talks about the unfulfilled promises of Arvind Kejriwal and the Delhi government. Cleaning up Yamuna. Remember when we are talking about Yamuna and pollution, we see that froth and foam in the Yamuna River, especially during the church times. Now, this was the promise which was made by Arvind Kejriwal when he first took charge of Delhi Chief Minister that I'm going to clean up the Yamuna. That has not really happened. Over the years, every time he has been attacked over it, he has defended himself by also blaming the central government. Kailash Gehlod raises this question against Arvind K. Jival, that what happened to your vada, kya hua tera vada, is a question he's asking about how a simple promise could not be fulfilled. But I think more than that, what is even more damaging is the issue of what he calls the Shish Mahal. We all have been reporting about it and the BJP certainly has made it a big issue. That is, the allegations that Arvind Kejriwal, when he held that official residence as the chief minister, had completely done up that entire official residence. Uh, renovations had taken place, bathrooms, sanitary wear fittings, the living rooms, air conditions, expensive television sets are some of the allegations against him. AAP has always dismissed it off as being yet another political witch hunt and a wrong uh, kind of controversy being stoked by the BJP ahead of the elections. But the PWD, which is in charge of stock taking whenever a chief minister uh, leaves his official residence, as he did when he resigned as a Delhi chief minister, came out with details to make the point that many of these expensive, uh, you know, uh, uh, sanitary wear and other stuff inside his official residence uh, deservedly gave the tag of Shish Mahal, which is expensive residence of Arvind K. Jival. Now, Kailash Gehlod also makes this point that this just goes on to show the deep-rooted corruption and once again a complete antithesis of the entire idea with which the Aam Army Party was born. That is, the AAP is going to be a party for the common man. Now, what does it really mean? There are several questions which are going to arise. The BJP already has lauded Kailash Gehlod for resigning as a minister. But the BJP is certainly going to use this resignation as a big political part, point ahead of the Delhi elections and also sustained campaign against Arvind Kejriwal. But with this also raises the other big question. What is very, uh, where is Kailash Gehlod heading? So far, no one is saying there are no revelations taking place. But of course, many within AAP are asking this question is that whether Kailash Gehlot is only doing this at the bidding of the BJP. Why this question now? Why not while he was in a part of the Delhi government? And why is he also using the same language which is similar to that of the BJP? Clearly, however, whatever may be the politics or reason behind it, Kailash Gehlot's resignation comes at a very wrong and bad time just ahead of the Delhi elections.